America, how we doing today? And yeah, I know, you probably wonder, what's he got on, right? This, America, is a wrong, okay? I saw them city boys wearing them, and I was like, no, nah, they ain't gonna beat me to the fashion punch. So I got me one, all right? And let me tell you something, before you go judging anybody, you should try one on, because this thing right here is like the Swiss Army knife of clothing, all right? And really, it vents out your giblets real good if you're a man, too, man. They really are rated down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel really R rated. But, anyways, let me just show you what I'm talking about, okay? So, first of all, man, I need a dip. I just, I need me a dip, man. Need, uh, need my scope, okay? All right, well, I need my scope. What's this? It's my scope. All right, baby. Oh, man. Hey, I need some money. You need some money? All right, I got some money. Oh, there's my wallet. Okay, well, that's two things right there. Man, I can't breathe. My asthma's acting up, right? What's this? Oh, that's my asthma medication. Well, I'll be darned. Hot right, dog. Oh, what, what else? What else can this sucker hold? Like, look at this, right here. All right, say I got my AR-15, okay? I'm in war, right? I'm, I'm plowing down right there. It's North Korea, okay? Oh, I dropped my magazine, right? I mean, I ain't got none left. Gone. What's this? Oh, is that, is that another magazine in his, in his romper? Is that what he just pulled out of that romper? A magazine? Yeah, okay, so don't judge me, all right? It's sleeveless, it's very vintage, I feel comfortable. All right, America, you should try one on. This will be the new style, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Well, viewers, how's it going? We're back here. Well, I guess we're not back. We are on uh, County Line. This is uh, available out on American Eagle Modding. I just realized that I was recording. And uh, I was also <laughs> I was watching a, a YouTube video, or a, a Facebook video of the Romper. I was <laughs> checking that out. But yeah, we are doing some spraying here on Field 17. Plant some corn so we can put up some silage for our cow operation over there somewhere. If you notice the map, the like this icon here for the cows is actually here. The shop is not there, I don't think. Should actually be. Or maybe it is. Oh, I'm Excuse me. These are pigs. And the pigs are not there. And they're not in the middle of that field. There is the cows. I was looking at it wrong. So, there's the cows. Dairy. So, we own field 11, 17. I bought 18. We own 33. And I gave myself a big chunk of money to start with, like $2 million, to buy equipment and um, to get things going. We don't own field 15 yet. That's a good size field. We don't own that. I have not been all over the map yet. But you can see up here you have uh, uh, black, black sheep wool, Quaker, uh, Conagra, biodiesel, county line grain, hillside potatoes, livestock sale. Uh, Burkeville Co-op, Crystal Sugar, Green Earth Biogas, that's to the south of us, and the R&R &R horse, horse Ranch. I took uh, all of the straw off of Field 11 and took down there and sold to them. Um, I do have the Big Bud DLC. Finally did get it to work. I was having problems with that. If uh, if you purchase the Big Bud DLC through Steam, 
and could not get it to work, what I eventually had to do was on your Steam window, I could probably just pull it up, right? Okay, so here's your farm simulator uh, in your library. And if you right click on it and hit properties, then you have these tabs here. Well, in betas, I had selected 1.4 because, well, it won't let me select it now, Bec uh, probably because the game is running. But um, I was I was under the assumption that the latest version that was out there was that beta 1.4. Well, it is not. You have to opt out of all beta programs to get the Big Bud DLC to work. So it's working now. And I love all the extra equipment, the cedars chisel and the plows and stuff and the grain cart <clears throat> not too big of a fan about the 747 big bud but the little 450 big bud that, that's an awesome machine I'm just not uh, I think I think the version that I had that I had done in 15 I thought in comparison, I thought mine was more realistic, or more accurate to what Big Bud, the 747, but I mean, they did a good job. I'm just not, I just don't think that that's, I don't know, I mean, I'm just talking on my butt, but uh, yeah, just doing some spray and spraying the corn fertilizer down to see well, sometimes when somebody wants to you know, change I guess he has changing color kind of hard to tell there for a second and it looked like it was changing color the color of the ground but I guess it is this is a Peggy sprayer and it's available out on Mod Land or Mod Hub, one or the other. John Deere sells Haggies. They're, they're partnered up, I think. There's the Big Bud 450. I think it's a pretty cool looking truck tractor. I love the details, love the hoses, and the the hoses are flexible. That's cool. Um, fan blade does spin when the engine's running. She's got the Cummins diesel power tag on it. And it does look like a Cummins engine. And inside, we got uh, controls. And it's just a all, all in out. It's a real good, well-made mod. And uh, Giants did a good job on this tractor. I like it. You know, it's got the footprints on the floor. Little Kenworth that uh, it's got a triple axle with a tag, and it does work. Oh, I'm gonna select it. So we do have a tag axle; it does work. We got a little extra oats here on county line. There's uh, let's see, oats. There was something else that. Poplar, sugar beet, corn, sunflower, barley, wheat, canola, soybean, potatoes, oilseed grass. Oh, rye and milo. So you can plant rye and milo. So you have extra fruit types. So oat, rye, and milo are additional fruits added to county line. Let's see.
Oh, there's the more co-op. Where can we go? Where do we want to go? Let's just let's just bounce around a little bit. We got some placeable grain bins. This one's got soybeans in it. We got one that's uh, sunflowers and one that's oats. And this is the sunflowers. Got a little John Deere swather. We're doing some mowing out here. Well, that one's got wheat. Oh, we put wheat in that one, huh? I thought we put oats. Grain bin likes to wander around a little bit. You can drive these things. So that's kind of strange, but... Oh, there's a little tow bar, and... Now you can see the grain inside the silo. Inside the silo. Uh, you can tow them around behind your tractor. Put a tow bar on it. Got dryer fans. And they're spinning. You can see them. Pretty cool. A little brand auger for unloading. Oh, we have to shut him off. I'm using a game extension, so now that you have to. Like when you hit G, you get these. Um, selections. So, oh, for the creator tools, and it's kind of handy. We got this. This was released this week. It's uh, Duke Farming's Peterbilt, but somebody went in and put different stacks on it. They put chrome slash cuts and a chrome visor and a chrome bumper. Pretty much, other than that, it is the same truck. <clears throat> Little 69 Chevy. Just working on. It's not my mod. I was just making it more appealing to me. Uh, James from ATF Modding. Those are his wheels off of his Ford F250. I think they look good on here. There's a kind of a just a farm utilitarian type truck. A little flatbed of mine. Welding bed, versatile, 856 that I converted and reskinned. Little Mac truck that I worked on, that step deck that I worked on. And when I say work on, I don't mean that I built the entire thing. I converted it and changed it. Uh, this is ATF modding, this little Ford F-150. The, little, the blue crew cab is a truck that I had worked on in 15 and brought over to 17. Um, I remember what size this is. Oh, 4755. I think you get a selection. I just noticed that front end loader is not lining up, is it? Well, that blows. That's not lining up to the mounts. Huh. Well, that's weird. Didn't notice that. A little triaxle grain dump. A friend of mine that I helped him out with. Um, remember what I worked on? Oh, I think it was the grain animations. The fill volumes. I worked on the fill volumes for him. And the rear grain door. And the dumping. And color select. So you can pick the cab color and the bed color. 8R John Deere. He's out bailing some straw. There's that Ford crew cab. Sprayers out of spraying. Big bud. Well, let's look at the price of oats. We don't have any animals, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Oats.
Okay, there's the oats, and Konegra is paying 1181. So we could take our oats to just what's on that trailer. Conagra. So let's do that. Let's fire up the truck. Let's take a look at which way we need to go to Conagra. We need to go out here and head north. Okay. I'm going to head north through town. Tarp on. Oh, take it off. Doesn't quite fit. We'll leave it off. Maybe we'll put our tag axle down, though. <coughs> Excuse me. I had been playing on, um, oh, let's see, we were on Texas, we were on several other maps. And then County Line got released when I was down in Florida. And got home, downloaded it, and I have been very impressed with work that they did getting this converted over. The train does run through the map, but it's not a train that you can operate, so. Yeah, still great looking detail to the town. Whoa, we didn't want to do that. Stoplights don't work, but that's okay. school football field. And then across the railroad tracks. And here's Conagra. And Quaker. Oh, here comes the train. Pacific train, cool. Okay, go ahead and unload. Let's see how much money we get from this sale. Curious. It wasn't a full, <clears throat> full load. So we got forty-one thousand dollars for that partial load. Okay. So we're done with the tag axle. We don't need it down anymore. Excuse, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. Kind of sneezes. Not quite sure what that building is. Looks 
like the, uh, no it is, it is the livestock building from Building is from the that's the livestock building from the main game. Then we got some greenhouses. Water tower. Black sheep. Take it all. Oh, a little, uh, little biker bar. Must be City Hall. Courthouse. Oh, Bar County Courthouse. Quit gawking, I'm holding up traffic here. It's a nice looking Wells Fargo. Very good job on that. Applebee's. Dodge dealer. TSC. Overall, I mean, the, as far as accuracy to the original 15 map, the viable objects option is um, no longer available. But, whoops, um, you know, where you could buy, like, the garage or the machine shed, and you could buy. Do improvements to your farm, I guess. You can't do that anymore. The sun is going down here on county line. I suppose we should pretty much wrap it up for today. But yeah, I'd have to, to rate this map. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's a great looking map. Texas was definitely a high scoring map as well. I never really thought to grade it or to give a, a rating. But Texas was a, uh, a new map that we had not seen before. You have to sh with this game extension, you have to shut the engines off when you get out or tab out. So, you know, we hadn't seen Texas before, or at least not that version of Texas. Uh, County Line we saw last year, and this was probably, this was my favorite. County Line, Clover Creek, pretty much neck and neck, but I played more on County Line. I just liked the feel of it. I liked how you could look and see trees a mile away. You know, that's pretty cool. Uh, 
Yeah, we pretty much covered all the mods that I got going right now in this game. And um, I think we're probably we're probably gonna shut her down for the day. Still gotta sell this combine. We don't need it. We've replaced it with some a 9230 and a 9240. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't even think I have anybody out working right now. Oh, I got the sprayer. That's who this. I'm like, I thought I had somebody working. I do. What? If you haven't downloaded County Line, I would suggest that you do so. It is one gigabyte file size, but it's well worth it. And, um,. Great looking map. Really enjoy it. And uh, hopefully we can do a complete series on this one. But, uh, you know, now we're coming into, you know, spring and summer here in Wyoming. And um, I am looking forward to it. I actually, last weekend, and when I say a weekend, I'm, I'm talking or referring to my days off. And I'm a shift worker, so um, I work 12-hour shifts. And I work four, and I'm off four. I work six, I'm off four. I work four, I'm off six. And so I have long days off every month. So during my long days off, my wife, me, and my children went to Florida. And we went down there to visit our son, who lives in Melbourne. And it was his birthday on Mother's Day. So we celebrated his birthday and Mother's Day all together. And so when we got to Florida, <laughs> it was kind of funny. It's a strange story. I'll tell you guys this. Uh, when we get to Florida, we get a rental car. And we got to drive from Orlando Sanford to Melbourne, which is like an hour and a half drive. So, me and the wife were visiting in the car, and I said, you know, it wouldn't be funny, or wouldn't it be great if we run into Vanilla Ice down here in Florida? I said, you know, he lives down here somewhere, and he does that, that TV show on the DIY network, where uh, it's like Vanilla Ice Project or something. And she goes, and so we visited about that a little bit, you know. So, on Sunday, we, we flew down Saturday, we got there <clears throat> it was probably seven or eight o'clock at night when we got there M maybe a little earlier than that but uh, our son Sean was still at work so we went over to his work and he was there by himself just finishing up some stuff he was doing and we went and got situated in the hotel and, and then we went out for supper but then we went to Universal Studios on Sunday. And then on Monday, we went to Cocoa Beach. And we went to Ron John Surf Shop. Saw that. And hung out on the beach the rest of the afternoon. Then on Tuesday, it was, was going to be our last full day in Florida. So on Tuesday, we went to Kennedy Space Center. And while at the Kennedy Space Center, um, it was pretty warm. And we went and we watched the IMAX movie thing. And then we went and went through the Atlantis exhibit. And as we were leaving the Atlantis exhibit, we walked by a souvenir shop. And the wife says uh, that she was thirsty and if I would get her a Pepsi. And it's okay. And uh, my, my daughter wanted a water. So I go in a souvenir shop with my other son, Brandon, and we're standing in line and we're waiting. And we finally get out of there. And we're walking towards the, the rocket park where they have all these old rockets, you know. And there's the wife, Sean, and my daughter. And um they got these big shit-eating grins on their faces. 
and uh, this group of people walked by. I didn't, it was like they were holding like professional cameras, like video cameras. You know, it was probably like I don't know five or six people, like all kind of huddled together, and this guy in the middle. And I was like, "Huh, is that Vanilla Ice?" <laughs> and so my wife, she she comes up there and she goes, "Why didn't you say something? What?" And she's like, "That was Vanilla Ice." I like, was, I said, I thought it was. And uh, she says, "Yeah, we got a selfie with him." I'm like, are you shitting me? And they had a they had a selfie with him where he actually took the he took their their phone and then took the selfie with them you know <laughs> just pretty neat but I didn't get to meet him and I had a I had a new hat like a Fox uh, motorsports hat like motocross and uh, that would have been the uh, that would have been the, the ideal thing to have him autographed but I <laughs> was wrong place at the wrong time story of my life you know Wrong place, wrong time again, Brad. Yep. But anyway, I thought that was kind of a funny story. And I do actually have... I have a picture of the selfie. I can... Um, huh. Let's see. Where is it? I will show it to you. It's here somewhere. Oh, got a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures of the trip. And where's the selfie? Bear with me, please. <laughs> I don't want to go, go past it. Wow, I didn't realize they had took that many pictures. Holy cow. There it is. And I'll just slide it in here. And that is a picture of oh, my wife, my son, my daughter. And vanilla ice. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. But yeah, she said to see that he was really friendly. They sent Gracie over to talk to him. Oh, that was pretty neat. But anyway, oh, and I guess the, guess the wife's giving the thumbs up. <laughs> right on. Well, I guess I've rambled on for half an hour about county line here but uh hope you guys enjoyed the video um have a good uh week we'll try to get another episode out here in a couple days i'm off for the next four no three three days and then then i got hell week coming up but i got a couple outside projects i gotta get done to but if it ever quit raining, it's been raining here by every every day. So I mean, it kind of just making everything wet and muddy, and kind of hard to get anything done outside. So maybe Wednesday when the sun shines. It's supposed to be nice Wednesday. Maybe I can get some stuff done. Who knows? But until then, until we, uh, I'll probably wait till this corn is grown. And then uh, we'll get a chopper and start chopping silage. And we'll have an episode then, if not sooner. But hey, uh, hope you guys uh, still enjoy the videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and would like to see more. Other than that, keep the rubber side down, the shiny side up. We'll catch you on the flip flop. Later.